What's up guys, this is your boy, the Average Game Online Tutor here, back with another video for Institute Mobile. And this video is gonna be a comprehensive guide of how to ascend your characters and build them up in Injustice 2 Mobile as of update 6.2. Character ascension has been a new feature that has been added in Injustice 2 Mobile update 6.2 and we're gonna look at it. So make sure to save this video, share it with your friends as well. So let's get the party started. Let's jump into my roster here and we are gonna look at first what you need for a character ascension. You need universe orbs. And the best way to get universe orbs is through league invasions as well as converting intergalactic orbs. So five intergalactic orbs can be converted into one universe orb. As you can see over here, if I'm selecting, as you can see, select universe orb. Let's do couple only right now. So only 10 intergalactic orbs are gonna be spent to convert to two universe orbs. So you need universe orbs as the first thing. Then you need additional hero shards as well to convert a character into a higher level of ascension. As you can see over here, my King of Atlantis Aquaman is maxed out at, you know, technically 14 stars. That is seven star ascension level. And Batman Ninja Robin has been done as well. But we are gonna dive into the class passives that get unlocked with each of the characters and see which one is better and which character you should actually upgrade first and which characters are gonna be beneficial for you in arena, in solo raids and league raids as well. So let's jump into the first you know, class passive and that is the Might class passive which you're gonna see here for King of Atlantis Sacrament as well as Power Girl. So let's jump in here and I'm gonna give you an overview of the artifacts that you can use as well with this. So first class passive over here is the Might one which is gonna reduce the incoming damage as well as chance to become unhittable which is gonna increase as you level up as you can see like if I'm leveling up the class passive which is again gonna go to seven stars it's gonna you know become unhittable for five seconds and this is a great passive to have and you can actually use this more with defensive characters and also offensive ones with you know uh, the puppet of Zatanna kind of equipped because in that case you are going to be able to spam specials But ideally you don't require that because you have this unhittable coming with you anyway So if you're using all blades for league rage, that's good if you're using you know the dark metal cards That's good as well So those two artifacts obviously strong artifacts would be incredibly helpful with this particular You know class passive so which character to now upgrade in the first place? So the characters that you would want to upgrade for, you know, Might class, let's first filter out Might class characters itself. We can filter it through the filter and sort here. Let's go and filter Might class. These are the Might class characters that can be ascended as well. As you can see, a lot of characters here on the Might side. I think the best character to first upgrade would be Batwoman in the Drowned if you have enough shots for it. But if you don't, King of Atlantis Aquaman works just as good then Batman Ninja Girl Abroad getting ascended would also be good. But then again, like it's just a combo builder. It's not gonna be a great damage dealer uh, until unless like you're using it specifically with um, the Batman Ninja team for uh, building up damage. So Power Girl has an interesting feature over here and that is it's gonna get increased damage with the class with the passive that's got modified not the class passive. As you can see, plus 1% damage every 10 seconds to a maximum of 36%. That's gonna not happen. <laughs> yes, uh, because that's not gonna happen because plus 36% uh, Timer for the match is three minutes, which is 180 seconds. So it's gonna go up to maximum of uh, you know 18% So that's not a lot, but still a new modifier that has been added. So that's uh, that's a good thing But if you have red in the team, it could increase a bit, but still it's not gonna hit the 36% Anyways guys, so uh, this character is just for fun. Don't upgrade or don't ascend this character immediately. It's not required. Ideally for Might class passive, just upgrade King of Atlantis Aquaman, Batwoman the Drowned, that would work well. And for Arena, you can go for Multiverse Armor Supergirl. That's gonna be a good character to, you know, modify as well because uh, she will have look power cost, power bars, and is gonna be unhittable. So even if you have it in the defensive team and she does a special, she is gonna be unhittable. So that's gonna be a good thing. And obviously because it's easy to build character, you would get a ton of attack if you're ascending, you know, multiverse armor Supergirl. See, it's already at 9K attack. Some people already have it at 10K attack. So you're gonna possibly see 13, 14K attack as well. So let's jump back here and let's sort for the next class over here. That's gonna be the text class, uh, text, tech, not text guys, what am I saying? Tech class. So for tech class over here, let's remove the might filter. 
let's remove the mite filter. So for tech class, I think uh, this has one of the best class passives out here. So let's jump into it here. And ideally, just a cyborg is definitely a good character to upgrade because it's going to give 150% increased critical attack damage, which means you're getting some effect of the dark metal cards, as well as you're getting a chance to power steal. This is just a great passive to have. This is an excellent passive to have. Be it on Black Manta, be it on this character, you're going to do a ton of damage. If you have Black Manta and you can max out Black Manta as well with the Ascension, then definitely do it first because you're going to get a ton of damage. And if you equip the uh, Twin Blades artifact or as a, or you know the Crown of Kandak artifact as well, you're going to do a ton of damage with Black Manta as well as Justice League Cyborg over here with this class passive. So I would rate this class passive definitely better than the Might 1 over there. Might 1 is a bit more defensive. This is one of the offensive ones. And uh, let's jump back and let's look at the other characters. Brainiac, I don't believe you need to upload it because, uh, you know, like update it rather because it's not going to help you a lot, all right? And uh, if you just want to upgrade another tech class and uh, ascend it, that would be, you know, Nightwing as well as Nightmare Batman. And Batman Ninja Batman is going to be a special case. I'm going to come to Batman Ninja Batman here because uh, Batman Ninja Batman is going to gain passives from the lethality effect of Batman Ninja Robin. And with the increased critical attack damage, I'm just, you know, kind of leveling up Batman Ninja Batman over here. And you guys are going to see it up shortly because it's going to be doing a good amount of damage, I believe, because of Batman Ninja Robin's passive. If you're equipping it with the Twin Blades as well as Dark Metal cards, I think Dark Metal cards won't be required. If you're equipping it with the Twin Blades, you're going to do a lot of damage because you're going to get lethal as well as increased critical attack damage because of the tech passive. That is uh, the, you know, it unlocks at ascension level. It's going to give 150% additional critical attack damage and it can go up to 500%, which is basically the dark metal cards artifact scenario. So I uh, definitely look to upgrade, you know, Batman Ninja Batman, Justice League Cyborg, as well as I would say Black Manta. It's good to upgrade Blue Beetle as well, uh, the legendary Blue Beetle as well. The legendary is basically if you're upgrading, that's going to be a good thing. It's going to do good amount of damage. But even if you want to prioritize one legendary, it's going to be Black Manta first. And then I would say even Blue Beetle will, would work well. But uh, then again, getting the shots for them, it's going to be a nightmare. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> so let's move on to the next class passive over here. And that's going to be the agility one. So let's remove the filter here. Here we have the agility one. I definitely suggest for agility. I think uh, let's look at the legendary characters here as well. So the legendary characters are not going to help you do a lot of damage in the agility one. But let's look at the class passive for agility. I have Batman Ninja Robin maxed out here. And you can see, let's jump into the abilities here. You have 200% fast attack damage and 30% chance of fast attack becoming true damage, which means it's going to bypass the defense and this kind of increases as you level up the passive so this is going to be a great one to have guys this is going to be a great one to have it's it's called rapid assault that's the class passive so definitely this is going to deal increased damage with characters that has modifiers for them that is the team has modifiers for them for example batman ninja robin has a modifier the lethal damage increases and that's going to be affecting the fast attacks as well and if we jump back heartbreaker harley quinn is going to do ton of damage then last of the Joker is going to do a ton, ton of damage as well. Batman Ninja Catwoman is going to do a ton of damage. But I think Batman Ninja Robin suits a bit better because of, uh, you know, how it functions with the one-shot capabilities right now there uh, once it's paired up with Zatanna. So Heartbreaker Harley Quinn is going to do good amount of additional fast attack damage as well as well as benefit because of Entangling Poison Ivy's passive. So make sure to upgrade Heartbreaker Harley Quinn or, you know, Batman Ninja Robin first before, you know, upgrading any of the other, you know, agility characters. If you have a lot of shots for Arkham Knight Batman, feel free to do it, but that's not going to be your main damage dealer. So keep that in mind while you're ascending your character. Let's look at the next class passive that we are going to have, and that's going to be your arcane one and this is an or you know like i would say underwhelming one because uh, i did manage to upgrade one so the characters that you would want to upgrade here for the arcane passive first let's look at the arcane passive what that is let's go into the abilities here and we have 
5% increase power generation and successful special basically decrease your opponent's basic attack and you kind of take it. So basic attack for opponent is going to be pretty less, uh, less. That's that's the base attack stat. So it's going to be pretty less. Uh, for example, like this is a leveled up Black Adam. So if you look at the attack stat over here, the base attack is 3000 and it's going to be similar for your opponents as well, even in, you know, you, you know, your raids and solo raids and arena. So it's not going to be huge. So you're not going to steal a lot of damage there. And uh, that's why this passive, I feel the class passive is uh, pretty much the worst of all the class passives. And uh, I think it works well if uh, the increased power generation is there. For only that part, but uh, the uh, you know the damage decrease and increase is is not going to be beneficial. So this I would say the characters that you would want to upgrade should be at the you know your end list because you wouldn't want to you know waste your universe tokens out there. So definitely don't waste your new universe orbs basically and uh, just keep it for the other classes. And if you do want to upgrade over here, you do have legendary characters you can upgrade. Raven being the primary one and that's just gonna give you additional you know attack stats and also I would just tell refrain from spending it on arcane until unless you kind of like a character very much Raiden would be a good character to upgrade though because Raiden's base attack is very less so if its attack kind of increases you're gonna benefit in the league raids because of its increased attack stats so with that being said let's move on to the last one and that's gonna be your metahuman class over here and here is the metahuman class and this has a pretty good passive actually i did ascend uh, you know a couple of characters as you can see but i'm gonna go with entangling poison ivy and i think entangling poison ivy has a chance to become uh, you know a true damage dealer in the loa team and the reason for that is if i'm jumping back is because of the class passive it's gonna give 150 percent lethal attack damage which can exceed cap up to 500 percent that's gonna be bonkers guys that's gonna do some good additional damage because if you guys are aware uh you know it's uh, basically brainiac gives 400 percent lethal damage and that is just incredibly helpful imagine now you have brainiac's abilities with entangling poison iv and uh with the dot so it's gonna do a lot of damage i believe this has the potential to replace heartbreaker harley quinn as the damage dealer and you also have a chance for splash damage with the lethal attack being triggered so definitely the build stats for entangling poison iv is gonna vary the only thing is uh, even here the shots are pretty rare to come by but if you have a good amount of shots definitely look forward for ascending you know entangling poison iv first and as well as upgrade uh, the class passive over here for entangling poison iv the metahuman you know class passive is i believe is very strong as well so the agility the metahuman and the tech are the offensive ones the arcane and the might are the defensive ones so keep that in mind here and that's about it justice league flash is going to benefit from justice league cyborg being in the team as well as the increased lethal attack damage is going to benefit him pretty well as well and apart from that the legendary characters are not that great apart from beast boy but uh, you wouldn't want a beast boy uh, to be upgraded even if you have a lot of shards because uh, beast boy as it is does a one shot so don't waste your universe ops on beast boy until unless you absolutely need beast boy to be upgraded or even batman who loves or martian man to be upgraded so with that being said, this concludes for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this content, a comprehensive guide on what characters you should upgrade, what artifacts you should use with the characters as well. And yeah, so that's it for this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already. Well, this is your boy, the Average Gamer Night Hero here, signing off. You guys take care, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.